Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel Virgo. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, this is for the sign of Virgo, please. Let us see what is coming towards you. What is the guided message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know. This is for your sign. Thank you so much guys for supporting the channel. Thank you so much guys for being here. If you would like to further connect with me, please do click the bell and click the subscribe button, okay? Let's look at your situation. Let's look at your focus. What's coming towards you? Let's look at um, channeling the month of July to August. Someone is like um, Marlon, okay? The someone M. Marlon, okay? Who's thinking of you? A name Marlon. Okay. What can I get for the Virgo sign, please? What is the situation? You have a page of wands. You have the heart of one card. Ooh. This is a stubborn person. The nine of cups. The temperance card. The lover's card looks like a romantic reading or it's a very it's someone you like it's someone that you like and you would like to keep them okay like it's a this person is someone you like someone you love you would like to keep them okay yeah the sun card maybe maybe this person and yourself maybe you have kids pet shared shared beautiful moment maybe you have a shared moment them, but you want to keep this person five of cups what's the advice please okay all right so you're starting the reading with a page of wands um there's a message that's coming through to you virgo okay um i feel like they wanted to this is it feels like a it feels like a late message in here it feels like you know it feels like they traveled and then they came like you know it, it feels like um because they're traveling they're busy they're overseas like someone went round and round and round and busy and traveling and now they're actually coming back to you to respond to reply or someone is someone has been overseas someone has been out and about someone has been so busy and finally they got the time to message you properly it's a, it's a it's a vibe virgo where um i'm busy right now i'm not gonna connect with you i'm doing this i'm not gonna connect with you but they keep thinking of you they they do think of you okay they think of you a lot but they won't message until they clear their calendar, their schedule. You know, it's a, it's a, it's an energy where if I message you, Virgo, okay, if I message you, I want to make sure that I have time, availability, money, resources, and energy. Because if they message you, it's gonna spark or trigger for you and them to date again. To see each other again to connect again and they don't want to disappoint you that if they come back and disappear again so you have been in you, you, you've been in and out of their energetic interest because next to the page of wands is the hierophant card so this is a this is a committed message if they start messaging it's because they want to continue dating you committed to date committed to reply committed to respond you know um yeah and the reason why they're not messaging you in the past or not very engaged because they don't have time for you okay or they couldn't be committed so i'd rather not message you if i'm not gonna stay okay yeah page of wands again so this confirms their intention so they're gonna message you they're committed to come back in fact they've never moved on this person is saying I've never moved on I've never forgotten you I've never moved on yes I'm not communicative but I'm I've never moved on yeah 
So it looks like you're waiting for this person, you're waiting for this message, you're waiting for this invitation, you're waiting for this email, you're waiting for this respond. Um, if you look at the Four of Cups, this is you. You're waiting for three months now, four months now, maybe more than that. But I think there's a part of you that you've given up and you just release it. And if it's meant to be, it will be with the Four of Cups. There's a Pegasus in here, so it comes with peace. Like it's so peaceful to see their message. It's it's going to make you smile. You know, it's 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 gonna make you smile that they're messaging you and it feels very peaceful that they're saying sorry to you okay in here you could be dealing with cancer scorpio pisces gemini libra aquarius capricorn taurus virgo now you know they might have planned to connect with you for for around april but it didn't happen could be the month of Gemini season which, which just ended it didn't happen also May January but now they're back okay they will be back they will be back very soon now so once this person say their peace offering their story um, this person is like it won't take long because nine of cups you will be very satisfied i could feel how satisfied and convinced you are with the apology the explanation something's gonna make sense you know you know there's something in their move that it will make sense for some of you guys the shock of the return is really speechless but it's gonna make sense you know like something is surprising and shocking but it's gonna make sense whatever they're going to tell you nine of cups page of pentacles it's gonna make sense okay it's gonna make sense now the center of the reading is the temperance card it took long but it's committed it 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 took them longer to say their message they would even invite you out nine of cups page of pentacles so they're gonna straight they're gonna be very straightforward okay they're gonna be straightforward tell you their defense their story they're gonna tell you something very important that will make sense and after that it's gonna make you smile they could feel virgo that you are satisfied and convinced and they're gonna take you out Okay, they're gonna take you out, they're gonna visit you, you're gonna see each other. Okay? The Nine of Cups, the Page of Pentacles. Um, the center of the reading is this is a divine. Okay, this is all happening for a soul for a reason. Okay. Their return, their message is happening for a higher purpose. Like the, the vibration of this person is high, their intention is good. It is quality it is a meant to be okay there's a soulmate I don't know why I'm seeing like you're signing contract um, um, this person is committed and confident of their soulmate offer but there's a little bit of hesitation from you I think it's possible Virgo that when once this person comes back or once they offered it to you because the Sun card is here and let's see yeah there's a devil card energy see confirmed so for some of you guys you can't help but suspect it you can't help but doubt or suspect or you can't help but maybe a little bit over analyze or overwhelmed of what's happening because it's too good to be true because you get a soulmate card in here but it's really is happening it's like it's too good to be true but it's really happening um, there is a part of you that you would 
probably display a little bit of hesitation. You've got some worries and concern in here. Like this person will continue to convince you. They will continue to make an effort to show you that this is a solid commitment. This is a solid move. But there's something about your energy that a little bit in, in overwhelm or a little bit hesitant. What the advice to you is that you're you have a bit of a pushback or hesitant or there's a part of you that you're hesitating because you and this person you've got the history okay there is some sort of there's a history of disappointment between the two of you and you know this is a predictive reading and the universe is advising you uh virgo to if you have some worries and concern look into their consistency because they're very consistent okay and they're gonna make a very big effort okay there is something like um don't pick on their mistake don't pick don't pick on the past mistake look into the present and look into how consistent and their big effort they have a very big effort that they will show okay when i said that it was 11 minutes 11 seconds 11 11 so I, I I could pick up your there is maybe a little bit of overthinking okay there is a little bit of overthinking over reacting or a little bit of hesitant that's okay that's your intuition protecting you or that's your intuition something in you is triggered and that is an experience you had with them and it's connected to disappointment okay now you're being advised you know to be an emperor okay be an emperor apply your wisdom your analytical skill your logical your wisdom and look into their effort because it's cons consistent and there is something big that they will do for you so if, for example if this is long distance they will travel and spend money to see you so that's a big effort there's something of a big gesture a big effort something big is going to show up and that's from them maybe a big gift but there's something so tangible and measurable and quality expand like big quality that they will show to you to convince you if there's a part of you that's hesitating look at their consistency consistency or ask them directly but do not give up because this is your time to have this person this is the time this is the time for you to have this person. This is the time for you to have this moment. This is finally the time for you to experience this again. This is a divine time for you to have this offer. Okay? If there's a part of you that is hesitating, ask them directly. Use the Emperor card energy. Wise, logical, analytical. Look into the present. Don't pick up. like It's, it's giving me this vibe that don't pick on me and my past although it's sometimes it's hard to put it that way especially maybe if you've been if you've been betrayed you know but sometimes it's just so hard to quiet the thoughts connected to how this person possibly disappointed you but we have to face that thoughts and put it in reality and compare it if if that thoughts is even real okay sometimes we have voices fear overthinking challenging thoughts face that and compare it to reality and look into whether it's even real okay face it so you can shut it off you can make the voice and overthinking shut it off compare it to what's happening in reality because what what they're about to tell you it's it is consistent okay so face the voice and tell it to shut off because this is safe now it's loving now okay it's divine timing for you to experience this and this is what I have for you guys thank you so much guys for connecting with me thank you so much guys for being here if you would like to further connect with me click the bell click subscribe especially the subscribe button you know if you do click subscribe you're giving me an energetic permission to connect with you we'll use the internet as the Oracle and um, if I'm connected to you energetically with your permission, I would be spot on. So click the subscribe button. Thank you, Virgo. And I'll see you soon again, guys. You have a great day.